وكذلك أوحينا إليك روحا من أمرنا ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان ولكن جعلناه نورا ولكن جعلناه نورا نهدي به من نشاء من عبادنا وإنك لتهدي إلى صراط مستقيم صراط الله الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض ألا إلى الله تصير الأمور Bismillah, you're watching the mailbox. We have a website called islammailbox.com. I'm Yusuf Estes, and we've got some questions that have come in. want to pick up kind of where we left off. We have one here. It says, what do you do when a baby is born besides akika? Oh, all right. What you're talking about besides the celebration, when a baby is born, we do have some festivities and we're excited about that. It's it's uh, the only real birthday Muslims have. The only birthday party is the actual birth of a baby. And it's a big party. And we feed all the people and bring all the relatives, anybody, the poor, anybody who would like to come and, and partake with us. It's a great celebration when a child is born. And they say you slaughter one sheep for the girl and two sheep for the boy. And that's just to signify, you know, what's, uh, whether she had a boy or a girl, I guess, I don't know. But, okay, we've got another one coming in. Let me finish answering that one before I go to this one, though. Uh, what do we do? When the baby's born, uh, you call the adhan in the right ear. Softly, don't scream it, you know. Softly in the right ear, you call the adhan. There's nothing really supporting the idea of calling the ikama in the left ear. But if somebody did it, you don't have to cut the baby's ear off or anything like that. It don't go crazy. But uh, you don't want to invent something in our religion either. Another thing that when the baby's born after so many days that you'll wait and then you shave the head and weigh the hair in a gram scale and give an equal amount of silver in charity for that. And uh, it's good for the babies, you, you know, to start nursing their mothers as soon as possible. And the nursing, you didn't ask this question, but it goes on for a couple of years. So, okay, now I'll come to this one that came in. They're stacking up on me now. Okay, what color hijab can I wear? And we've answered this before. It can be, you know, grays, uh, it can be silvers, it can be black, it can be browns and so on as long as they're not attractive to get people to be staring at you things like that this one says why do muslims kiss a black rock in the desert okay you're talking about hajar aswad which is attached to the side of the kaaba and this is something that prophet peace be upon him did during the ritual of walking around the kaaba and he did it once, and his companions talked about it later, saying that this does not benefit us, it doesn't hurt us, but just because he did it, we do it. But it's not an act of real worship in the sense that we are, you know, thinking the black rock is going to help us out or hurt us or anything else. But we've run out of time, and I want you to go to our website to get more information on these and other questions. Also, send us your question to islammailbox.com. Till then... Peace. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah.